Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are doing a dual review of Estrella Jalisco. And this was purchased over here in Texas and it's not sold in Louisiana. Not that I know of. Mm. Never seen it. And we are still in Texas, so we are still drinking out of paperware. Yeah, paperware, not glassware. Right. Oh. So we really can't see what this looks like as Jay spills it all over the place. You know how these tall cans. Uh, but it, if you look at the can, like I've never heard of this beer before, but if you look at the can, it's got that classic uh, Corona kind of colorization going on with the blue, gold, and white. It's got some kind of embossed stamp on it, uh, like it may be a German stamp, we don't know. Uh, but it, it, it is a light beer. Uh, it's it's uh, straw in color. You're going to have to take my word for it, but it's looking like... There must be a hole in this can. It's looking like it's a little darker than straw, almost like maybe golden color. Um, Strange. Yeah, you're right. So it's it's a little darker, and uh, one of the beers that we ran across before, this is along that, that Mexican style that's coming out, Mexico beers. Uh, was it Carte Blanc? Carta well, Blanca, yeah, was was a little dark because it's it's the maize that they use when they make these. They don't use the adjunct corn sweeteners. They use corn maize. I think they they, yeah, I think they use the maize grits, Mexican yeah. corn grits, or some folk would say polenta, or polenta like the senor. Right. Um, so it says it was introduced in 1910 in Guadalajara, Mexico, and it says Clara Dorada. That means clear gold. So, oh, you've never had it? I had it a couple of times. No, and we're drinking out of these little eight ounce cups here. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I spilled some of it. Those tall cans, they do that. I've seen so many video reviews where people yeah, are so know. careful and it's just coming out. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe the can maker can fix that. Right. Since they all buy from the same can maker. I use the same bowl. Like, well, yeah, ball, ball cans. And watch people do the uh, fosters and you're invariably see them spilling it. So you've already tasted it. Just a little sip because I, I was thirsty. <laughs> I'm smelling some really sweet, interesting okay. corn, like corn on the cob. So I'm going to taste it. It's sweet. Sweet it's corn. It's less maize tasting than I expected. Uh, it's got a full body, full to medium. It stays on the palate a little bit. And then it kind of goes down. So it's almost kind of syrupy in consistency with the sweetness, but then it just kind of washes down. There's a little hop bite. A little grass, hop. grassy hops okay. like a pilsner. Not as profound as one, but... Hmm. It's got some body. It's medium body. It's not thin. Yeah, I thought it was kind of heavy body to medium. Okay, you guys, can, you, yeah, if you guys can get a can of this, it's really good. It's delicious. Uh, it's right at that above Corona taste. So if you like Corona, if you like the Modelo Special, you'll like this. Uh, but it's a little, it's a little bit more of a beer. Medium dry finish. Right. Uh, I think the alcohol content's about the same. Four and a half. Yeah. So you're gonna get the same alcohol out of this, uh, which is where you want to be anyway. You don't want to drink all it big stuff that's going to knock you out. You just want something to relax. Like that Gold Bowl we drank earlier today? Oh, I didn't drink any Gold Bowl. Uh, I <laughs> um, so, um, you would prefer this over Corona Extra? I think so, but it's been a while since we had Corona Extra, so maybe... You need to do a revisit. Yeah, maybe before we head back to the, the, the fine state of Louisiana, uh, maybe we should pick up a couple more cans of this and maybe do a revisit on this, um, say in a month or so, along with a Corona and a Modelo Especial. I like that breadiness. It's like sweet breadiness and the corn. Yeah, it's it's a full flavor. That's why I said it's it's a full mouth, which you get from it. Yeah, I don't know how, know how somebody could buy this and talk about how dull it is. You drink it at all? No, it was just I wanted to pour enough to be fair. Um, to you that I didn't hog too much. Um, 
you drank about two of my ounces. You're buying the next can. So, um, that's another thing. Jeez, you can't ever get everything out of it. No, uh, they're not poor or friendly. You know why? What do you think people are doing with these cans? They're not pouring them in glasses. They're slugging. They're, you know, they're drinking oh, out. Oh, they're slugging at a gas station. Yeah, they're drinking. In the shade. They're playing drinking. dominoes with my boys yeah, in the middle of the neutral ground. Yeah, they're drinking it out the can. Ah, drinking, drinking in the morning. I wasn't thinking about that. Okay, so what would you score it? It's very good. It's not unpleasant. It's got that slight hoppiness to it. Like I said, I believe it's a full to medium mouthfeel. Yeah, high medium. It's a little sweet. It's a little sweeter than I would enjoy. And I would also like it to be a little lighter than what it is. So I would give this a B plus. Very good, but not excellent. Right. That's fair. Okay, I'll go along with that. I like that yeasty thing going on though. It's got some good ye yeast action. So anyway, les de les bon temps relais. We're saying a very good imported Mexican beer that we don't have a lot of experience with. Can, can I have your cup? And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana. Sip, chug.